Vancouver will shine in Sears Stars on Ice, presented by Samsung. The athleticism, the artistry, the passion of Olympic gold medalists Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer, Joanie Rochette, and many more Olympic, world, and national champions live. Coming to the Halifax Metro Center on Thursday, April 22nd. Get tickets to see the champions in Sears Stars on Ice, presented by Samsung. Clothes go through a lot. But now your clothes will keep smelling great all day long. Thanks to new Tide Plus Febreze Freshness. Its improved freshness releases a fresh smelling scent as you move to help your clothes smell great all day. And Tide Plus Febreze Freshness provides an outstanding clean. New Tide Plus Febreze Freshness. The freshness stays all day long. At Tostitos, we believe in making simple products with wholesome ingredients. Like our new blue corn tortilla chips. They're made with real blue corn. So naturally, they taste great. And since they taste so good, we have a feeling you'll want to share them with everyone. Got 20 Clark. Germans. Clark? Clark, Shanklin, Hall. Amazingly, they all won the highest award for courage we could give them the Victoria Cross. That's why we changed the name of Pine Street to Valor Road. Well, if the warm temperatures haven't convinced you, here's a sure sign that spring has arrived in the Maritimes. Conditions were perfect for the launch for the season of the Anglo Star at South Bar, Cape Breton. The lobster season begins in this part of Cape Breton in mid-May, and the Anglo Star looks ready to go. Bruce Frisco is ready to go, too. Here he is. I am ready to go. Thank you, Star. Well, we all know about the importance of uh, recycling. Most of us blue bag our used plastic bottles, our juice, box, uh, juice boxes, glass jars, that kind of thing. Many of us compost table scraps and yard waste. Now, Maritimers are even adding cars to their recycling lists. In fact, our national Retire Your Ride program is uh, kind of exceeding its goals. With more, we're joined tonight by Julia Pelton from Clean Nova Scotia. I want to thank you so much for coming in tonight, thank Julia. Thank you. Let's start by talking about the numbers. How many Canadians have, have taken advantage of the National Vehicle Recycling Program? Well, on a national level, it's been over 56,000 people have taken advantage of this program in the last year. 56,000? Yeah, it's so, been a tremendous success. So that's 56,000 that's 56, old cars that are no longer driving around on our roads and highways. Exactly. Fascinating. I mentioned a few moments ago the program uh, exceeding its goal. What, what, what was the original goal compared to the 56,000? It was 50,000 and uh, we still have over 10,000 in the system that will probably be processed within that. So hopefully we exceed it by... Oh, we're know. very approaching 20,000, yeah, which is amazing. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Why do you think the, the program is catching on so much? I think a lot of people have these cars, like just in Nova Scotia, it's about 20% of the cars on the road, and it's a good way to get rid of those old clunkers. So we're talking about 1995 and older vehicles, and you know, maybe people, the maintenance costs are getting too high, and it's an easy process. People can just go to the website or call the number and, you know, get involved, and then they get great rewards out of it. Yeah, okay, well, let's go back to the beginning then. Remind us how the program works exactly. What are those rewards? Okay, well, the rewards that we have on are transit passes, there's car share memberships, rebates off of bicycles, electric bicycles, and we just got an electric scooter rebate oh, on right? board so people can drive around on electric scooters. 
is. How much of a difference uh, do you suppose has the program made to the environment? Is that something that's measurable? Yeah, it's huge actually. Um, in the last year we've reduced smog forming emissions by uh, 2,500 tons wow. of smog forming emissions and every car that goes through the program gets recycled in an environmentally responsible way. So we're ensuring that hazardous materials and fluids and mercury switches aren't getting into our environment. So they're all being carefully stripped and processed the way, exactly. they, the way they're supposed to be. Do, do we know how most of those consumers actually replaced the, their vehicles? I mean, so there's incentives mm -hmm. for, for bus passes and, and uh, you mentioned the scooters and that kind of thing. Do we know how, how most people are, most of those people are getting around now yeah, without their old cars? Exactly. Lots of them are actually using transit passes or getting on bikes. They're carpooling more or walking more, which is great. So we're really trying to encourage those sustainable forms of transportation. And you mentioned all that uh, all that smog that, that's no longer around anymore. Talk, th tell me a little more about the health benefits. I'm guessing this is fantastic news for, for the great many Nova Scotians out there who have, mm -hmm. uh, say, asthma. Exactly. Smog forming emissions definitely have a lot of health Im implications. So, you know, by reducing those, we're trying to make the air cleaner and people healthier. Fantastic. So where can viewers get more information? Well, they can go to the website, which is retireyourride.ca, or they can call our toll-free number at 1-877-773-1996. And the program's still going strong right now, so yeah. now's the time to retire your ride. Exactly. Julia, we want to thank you so much for coming in tonight. Yeah, thanks a lot. That's uh, Julia Pelton, the spokesperson for uh, Retire Your Ride, and she works over at a <laughs> Clean Nova Scotia, our friends over there. We're going to head back to Star now. And we're going to introduce you to the Maritimers who are marking milestones this evening. We'll get started by wishing a happy 60th anniversary to Virginia and John Waybrett of Clam Point, Nova Scotia. Much love is sent from their family members and friends. It's also a diamond anniversary this evening for Bill and Irma Sydney. Congratulations are extended to the Sydney couple. And finally, we would like to wish Muriel Knickel of Lunenburg, Nova Scotia, a happy 100th birthday. Warm greetings come from everyone who knows her and if tonight is a milestone for you or someone you love all the best from all of us working here on live at five now it's time for us to head on over to the ctv atlantic weather center and cindy day well, Star, I'm not celebrating a birthday or an anniversary, but I can feel the love coming my way. Everybody is in a fantastic mood with this amazing early April weather. I hope they don't get uh, grumpy towards the end of the week when things start to cool down because, as you well know, this cannot last forever. We have cooler air sliding in Saturday and Sunday. This is lovely, though. Looking towards the red clay hills that border North Rustico Beach, a beautiful day inside the Prince Edward Island National Park. Temperatures today in the park? low teens beautiful early april weather will it continue in how much longer find out next there are embraces that you dream about embraces that speak volumes and embraces you'll never forget introducing venus embrace disposables the only disposable razor with five blades completely surrounded by a ribbon of moisture it's our closest shave from a disposable razor for your closest moments. Venus Embrace, now available in disposables. Hair cutters salons throughout Canada are proud to join the Canadian Cancer Society. A portion of the proceeds for every haircut will be donated to the Canadian Cancer Society's fight against childhood cancer, April 12th to April 18th. We're here in memory of my nan, and we're going to walk all night. We're here because uh, in memory of my mother-in-law. My father died of uh, lung and spinal cancer in August of last year. We're doing this for my grandfather. He passed away five years ago. We just um, we want to come out here in memory of him. My grandfather passed away from cancer and I just I just love this cause. Remember, register your team today for the Canadian Cancer